Can a commercial plane go backwards by itself at the gate? Answer to this question, most commercial airliners have reverse thrust systems, but they do not use it because of operational reasons. They use pushback car instead. When a plane departs an airport and pushes back from the gate, it uses a small but powerful tuck truck to reverse. So why don't airliners uh, save on the cost and use powerful jet engines to push back? Let's start with what reverse thrust is. When an aircraft comes into land, it is still moving incredibly fast along the runway. To help slow down, the engines can be set to reverse thrust mode, acting against the aircraft's forward travel. Air is sucked into the engines, but then instead of moving to the rear, it is ejected through new openings in the aircraft side that reverse the movement. Planes can use this functionality at any time, but generally only slow down on the runway after landing as we can see from the picture here. If the aircraft can already move backwards using the engine thrust, why do airliners use a tug to push back? A tug requires an operator time to connect to the plane and is another item that can break down. So not to mention that it's makes parking at gates also is more expensive and it has been done before in the 70s and 80s some aircrafts were allowed to perform a power back on the departure but it is worth pointing out that this was only aircraft engines on the tail not under the wings why using reverse thrust at the gate isn't a good idea? There are several reasons why it is not a great idea to use reverse thrust at the gate and why many aircraft today are banned from doing so. It is completely possible to do so, but it is not the best idea, thanks to the many things that can go wrong. For one, the air blast around the aircraft will steer debris that can either damage the gates, airport and one unfortunately standing near the plane. The ground crew would need to clear the area before the engines activated and this might not save any time compared to using a tug. Another reason, there is also the consideration of items being sucked into the engine themselves. As the engine spins up, it would create a vortex that uh, would pull items right into the expensive gate engines. There are some openings and it can, the debris that is sucked into the engines can harm the engines during this operation. The power back operation uses a lot of fuel and is very low, disturbing passengers and those watching from the airport. So lastly, the pilots in the aircraft can't see behind them. There isn't a rear view mirror in the aircraft. Thus, they would need a spotter on the ground. And, and we need help during this pushback operation. Simply put, it is too risky for the airport. The ground crew and aircraft to deploy reverse thrust that close to the terminal building. Because of that reason, all the modern airplanes have a reverse thrust system. They do not choose to use it on the gate instead of pushback due to operational reasons.